So I'm doing a little bit of an experiment today, over the next two days. I had this puppy, 20, 25 year old Goodman, that crapped out on me. In fact, it's kind of the compressor. Well, actually, it's kind of strange. The compressor still runs, but it blew a terminal out. Way, way down in here, you can see one of the wires is just loose in the fitting. So it runs, but it just sucks air and right right through this hole here in the, inside the compressor because that terminal has blown out. So that's kind of an odd failure. I hadn't seen that before. I ain't seen a whole lot because I don't do this for a living. Uh, and you sell this coil is all beat up. And first, I had the idea. I thought, well, let, let me see what the price of a new compressor is, put a compressor in it. But then compressor now is like 800 bucks for a two-ton compressor. So I have this unit here. I bought this a couple years ago from a fellow. It's a, it was a outside unit. It's still a two-ton unit. It's bigger, but I'm assuming it's maybe a, a higher sear. So that's why it's got the larger coils. And it's, you know, the compressor is also two times. So I'm going to try to hook it up. So I know it's a little bit of a mismatch, but I'm going to see if I can get lucky and get this rental house some, some air conditioning again. So wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. I got me a new dryer. I got kind of things in position. I'm just sitting here getting ready to uh, cut, cut my lines, get everything cleaned up, and do some brazing. And uh, we'll just see how it goes kind of step by step. I don't know. Alright, I got a better shot now. I took the side cover off so you can see what happened to this compressor. I've never seen one do this before. You can see how, how the terminal blew out of it. That's pretty wild, but that sure does mess up a compressor when that happens. And the connection is still tight. It's just whatever, whatever they use it to, to seal has failed since how oh, this thing was 2008, I believe. So it... Nothing lasts forever, though. Okay, well, step one, it's getting dark on me. I've done a, I'm a dry fitting right here. Got my lines connected up. A couple of couplers, put me in a new dryer. So then I'm going to hook up my nitrogen tank and flow nitrogen as I braise this with silver solder and uh, pressurize it, and hopefully I don't have any leaks. So it's been 24 hours. You see I braised my line set up and I put uh, nitrogen on it. I put about 150 PSI on it, let it sit. And I've lost a, a couple of pounds, but we've had a big temperature drop too. So I'm hoping we don't have a leak. Uh, I'll find out further here when I put my um, vacuum on it and see if it holds holds vacuum, doesn't leak off from the vacuum gauge. So I'm gonna put a vacuum pump on it, let it run for about a good hour and a half and see what kind of vacuum we get and see if it holds. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with my numbers. I've pulled the vacuum pump, I'll let it run here for about an hour and a half, two hours possibly. Pull it down to uh, below 500 microns. It's been sitting here for 10 minutes. I'm sitting at 600, so it's not climbing, so I believe we got a good braise. So that's a good sign. So now I can um, release the, um, the Freon into it, and we'll see if we can actually get some cold air today. So I just got done adding some more Freon to it. I had to add about five pounds to the line set and the air handler. And uh, went inside and checked. We got a 20 degree split uh, from the air going in versus what's coming out the vent. So it's performing really well. And I'll, I'm gonna let it, I won't post this video for another week or two. I'm gonna let it run for a while, make sure it, it's, it stays steady and does its job so I can give a good report on this thing to make sure this mismatch system is actually gonna work and perform. So I'm back at the house unloading my tools, and I just thought I'd mention, you know, like I'm no HVAC tech by no means. I've just kind of self self taught. Uh, get on YouTube. This guy's got some really good information, really great videos, and uh, you, you know, you, you can teach yourself this stuff. It's not all that bad. You just once you understand how it operates, and you get pick up some tools. Like a lot of this stuff is Harbor Freight. I mean, vacuum pump Harbor Freight, little torches from Harbor Freight. You know, but about any, any of these tools you need, you can get, get on Amazon little hodgepodge of things you build up over time. You have to, uh, the only thing my nitrogen bottle, I have to lease that tank, you know, pay so much a year for it. But you, you know, if you're going to test for leaks, you got to have that. But, but I, it's, you know, I've, I, it, the tools are well paid for themselves over the years, multiple times, you know, because, you know, just, I changed out A coils myself and different things and put in whole systems myself. So uh, if you, you got the time and the, and the effort, you can teach yourself this stuff and uh, save yourself some monies. And if you enjoy learning new stuff, it's something new to learn. So it's time for an update. This two and a half ton outside unit that I plumbed into a two ton unit is working just fine. It's been, and now after three weeks of runtime, I've come back and put in a hard start kit. Oh, hang on, got a lot more coming. 
Okay, because uh, the age of this unit, this one, what I replaced, the one that I, that one, that, that one in the back of the truck, that's the one I think it's, hang on, let's see exactly what year it is. Uh, hang on. Yeah, there it is, serial number 97. So I believe that's a 1997 model. Um, you know, that's one of them that blew the terminal out of it. This one being a 2008. Now, when, what's, what's unique, when you look up the, the model number on this, the, wherever the model number is, there it is back here. So when you look up a model number, it comes up a two and a half ton. But when you get the numbers off the compressor, it's actually a two ton. So I'm assuming maybe they, that's just, they give it a higher sear rating. It's kind of strange that, that they doesn't exactly match, but that's what it is. And it is working, that's all that matters to me. But back to the hard start kit, because this thing is about 14 years old, I'm going ahead and put a hard start kit in. I've been doing that to a lot of my older units before the compressors blow. I'm going ahead and whenever I tune one up, I'm getting aware whenever I tune one of these up, uh, I go ahead and put a hard start kit on them because they're getting old. And I'm hoping that'll prolong the life of them. I do have a video step by step uh, on how to ho install these hard start kits. I really recommend it. Okay, so while editing this video, I wanted to add some more information for you. I didn't realize, but actually it's been over a year. I looked at my, my timestamp when I did this video. So here's my file. 2022-0724. So it's been over a year. And it's been running fine so i was able to put this two and a half ton in place of a two ton unit and it's been working great uh this is on a, a four bedroom how well three bedroom with an add-on uh but it's been performing great keeps the house 69 70 degrees and the renters just tickled to death and i am too i'm just shocked that it's lasted this long so i'm just amazed i mean if it, if it was only it's lasted a year so i'm, I'm more than pleased so I wanted to point that out. So it is it is still going. If someone tells you that you can't mismatch a system, well, you can. Because what was it? I'm trying to remember the year on this. There's like five or six years difference between the two models. And it works just fine. Something else I wanted to point out is um, my, on my YouTube channel, I got this video. I'm going to put a link onto it. If you happen to be a landlord or do it yourself or, and you've, you've got a heat pump or air conditioning unit that's already 15, 20 years old, do yourself a favor it, it may prolong the life of your unit so by installing one of these compressor savers 521 but i'll send the link to you got to be careful there's some counterfeits out there uh, these usually run around 35 bucks for the real deal and what else was i was wanting to point out to you one more video yeah this one here i did kind of a step-by-step -step install this is a two-ton unit uh, uh you can you know you can buy these things online and save yourself some money you read up uh, and do it yourself but i go step by step pulling out the old unit putting the new unit in there pulling the vacuum doing the braids hooking everything up and uh you know they have really good manuals that come with them so if you're got any kind of uh, mechanical skills you can do this stuff yourself save yourself a whole lot of money all right back to the video okay i think the lawnmower's done a little quieter but anyway i recommend put, if you got an older unit Go ahead and put a hard start kit on them uh, but be sure to get a, a the genuine piece here let me just show the book here you gotta watch there's a lot of uh, uh aftermarket clones out there that's not good quality but this is the genuine article here and uh they do a really good job and uh, hopefully in, in the inrush current it's amazing if you see my video of how much the amp it, it cuts the amp load almost a third on startup and uh gets those compressors a longer life keeps from uh stressing out the winding so bad on that on the startup time so anyways it's running good i'm getting like a 20 degree split he's you know even 90 something degree days he's keeping the house at 72 degrees so he's happy with it i'm happy with it so hopefully it'll continue to run for many years to come but uh if it don't we'll we'll, we'll do something else i know this hasn't been a step-by-step -step procedure type of thing but i do have another video where i went step-by-step -step installing a two-ton system pulling the old one out putting it in going by the book flowing nitrogen doing all the stuff you're supposed to do step by step i've got that uh, in the video just on my on my channel i'll, I'll put a link to it so anyways i hope you uh learned something i haven't seen too many videos where people have plumbed in different size outside units to air handlers so just to show it can be done and it does work thanks for watching and have a blessed day see bye